Hey everybody, welcome to Nomadic Moments. Today we're going to continue the series that we're doing on uh, the renovations that we did to our truck camper to make it a full-time nomadic home. Uh, specifically, we're going to be taking a look at the Malenko security lock today and how we installed that, so let's take a look. So today we're going to be putting a, a Dometico, and it's kind of like a deadbolt on our camper. Um, we were wanting some more security than the typical lock, camper lock gives you, so uh, we went looking for a deadbolt. Um, unfortunately, a, a traditional deadbolt won't fit because of the camper wall not being thick enough. Um, so Dometico makes this product, made by Malenko or designed by Malenko out of Europe. In the States, it's manufactured by Dometic. Kind of odd looking, but um, basically this is the inside piece, your door handle. Just, you know, and your wall's here, so um, it'll latch down over the door so the door can't open and you can lock it in place and then it won't move. What that's going to look like, theoretically, is it'll kind of sit here and then it keeps the door from opening out. For us, unfortunately, we're going to have to mount it pretty low on the door because there's, we've got cabinets here. We need about three and a half inches or so of clearance on the inside uh, to mount the handle. So it's going to go uh, below our cabinets here and then basically sit right there. The idea is just to keep the door from opening, so I think it'll work. Ours didn't come with instructions because uh, we got a uh, repackaged returned version, uh, but the, they come with these seals. I'm not really sure what the difference is. I think it's if you want to mount it horizontally as, to, as compared to vertically. So we're going to mount it vertically. This thing actually comes with a sticker that you can put on, and I've already put it on. Uh, it's really white, so it's right here. You just stick it on, and it gives you your holes alignments, so you can just drill right through those. As always is the case, I tried to put a backstop board on here so that when I'm drilling through, it doesn't blow out on the other side. I just took a little little uh, one by two that I cut from a one by three, really. So, uh, ooh, there it is. Um, and just backstopped it so that when I'm cutting through, it drills on into it and you don't get that blow out uh, from the drill bit. All right, for the first holes, we used a fourth inch drill bit there. I'm about to do these two with a half inch. As you can see, I already kind of started them. It's just a little easier when the camera is being used, but so. Yeah, those look pretty good. As you can see, I kind of got it just sitting here. What you want to do is you've got this, this piece here. It's for uh, water. So it's your seal. And then same thing on this side. There's one right there. So you want to run your screw, your bolts, through top and bottom and kind of line up your holes. And then your, you can see your lock pins, your twist pins and stuff like that right there. And you want to line those up in the orientation you want your handle to work. So I want the handle to be, I want the handle to be able to move with the, the bar. So I always know what the bar is doing on the inside of the camper as well as the outside of the camper. For us, it came down to we wanted the lock on the bottom and we wanted the handle up here as high as possible because that's our floor there. What I really wanted is to know when this is locked, like that, when the door is overall locked, I wanted the lock pin to be horizontal as well. So basically, if these two things are horizontal, then we're, we're good. Um, otherwise, you know, we can lock it vertically as well. well. It's starting to fall apart, but we can lock it vertically as well. So just like that, so now the handle won't work. Anyways, I'm gonna bolt this up. I just wanted you to see it before I did, because you can, you can basically make this in any orientation you want. It's all about how the pins line up. So yeah, we're gonna just bolt it up and then as always, I'm just going to put a little sealant around the outside, even though it has this rubber gasket that is falling out because I lost the bolt at the top. I'll get it lined up here in a minute. But even though it has the rubber gasket, I want, I'm going to put some sealant around the outside just to make sure it's nice and watertight. So that's it for this renovation. We really like the Malenko lock. Keep in mind that it's made by Malenko in Europe. Uh, it's manufactured by Dometic here in the States. 
We have a link listed down in the comments below, and we also have uh, more details on our website, nomadicmoments.com. There's a link for that as well below. But we really like this lock. It's very easy to install, as you saw, and it's pretty intuitive. Works really well. Uh, gives us an added sense of security and safety while we're out here on the road. When it's down, it's locked into place, and when you unlock it and you push it up, it's it, it locks back into place so nobody can lock you in or trap you inside. And even if they tried to, you can fully control it from the inside of the camper. They even make a model for vans where the lock's on this side so that when the door opens, it'll, it'll lock it into place. So if you're doing a camper van renovation, this will work out just, just fine for you. If you want more details on the Nomadic Lock or any of our Nomadic Adventures, check out the website. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and do that right there. I'm trying to figure out where in the frame it is, okay. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and do that right there. Until next time, guys, we're gonna keep traveling.